Welcome to a short tutorial on the Mary Baker Eddy Papers. This brief tour is designed to highlight the features of the site and provide a few tips for exploring the sermons on your own. So the first step is to click Enter. As you can see on the left, there's a number of different ways to search the site. We're going to go and click on Title. They open in alphabetical order, and we're going to choose one called for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Each time I'm simply just clicking. I'm gonna pull the screen down a little bit so that you can see it a little better and we're gonna talk about the top. Here we have a lot of metadata. The first is a unique identifier called the accession number and every document has one. Then we have an editorial title that the staff has assigned to the document. In the case of the sermons, if Eddie is given her subject, we've taken that and made it into the editorial title. In this case, it's for the eyes of the Lord or over the righteous from 1 Peter. And we see that Mary Baker Eddy was the author, and since her name is in teal, that signals to us that we can click on it. So we stay right on the same page, but we get a photograph of her as well as a brief biography. The same would be true if we clicked on Calvin Fry. Then we get the date, November 16, 1884. Over on the right, where these plus signs are, we want to click on those to open them. The first is a manuscript description. This is some information from the archivist about the document itself, whose handwriting it was in, if it's on a particular stationery, or any other notes that are about the physical document. The editorial note, on the other hand, provides historical and contextual information about the content of the document. So in this case, we tell you that the sermon was given by Mary Baker Eddy at Hawthorne Hall. And again, since Hawthorne Hall is in teal, we click on it, we open a picture of it, as well as a brief description of the hall. We learn, for example, that it offered seating for approximately 250 people. And the last thing I want to show you in the top is this related topic. If you click on that accession number, it opens another document in a new tab. This particular letter is related to the sermon that we were just looking at. So let's go back to that sermon first. So we just click on the tab to go back, and let's look at the document itself. There's two ways to view the transcription. The default is a what we're calling the final edits, but these are what appear to be the last edits that Eddie made, and we've made them silently. We haven't edited the transcription at all. It just means that the view you're looking at makes the deletions, makes the insertions silently. But of course, you can just click on Show Original if you want to see those within the transcription. For example, Nymph and Naiad are inserted, such R is deleted, and you see it crossed out. And you can always go and look at the original. You just simply click on it and you can see a scan of the original document. This one happens to be a TypeScript that Eddie has edited in pencil. And you can just click on the arrows to scroll through the pages. When you're done looking at the original, you always want to close that view to open up the transcription again. Now, we see lots of things that appear in the, the teal text. That's again a signal to us that it's something we can click on. In this case, we get the Bible verse. That is the subject of her sermon. Then you just X to click out of it. We also see the word common in teal. This brings up an editorial note where she's referencing the Boston common. Again, you just click the X to get out of it. And you can just do the same thing working through the document, opening those annotations that you'd like to read and not opening those that you want to just um, move on from. So you just work your way through the document. You can see that we've handled spelling errors in the same way, and we just show you how it was written originally. Of course you can go back to that original view if you'd rather just see it um, as it was written originally without having to click on it. The reason why that we correct the spelling is so that when you're doing a key keyword search you can find every word in the document. We do the same thing with abbreviations. We expand those so that you can find them when you're doing a keyword search. So let's go back to the top of the document. 
and choose that letter that we saw that was related. So it works in just the same way. You click on the plus sign to open the note completely. In this case, we can choose Mass Massachusetts Metaphysical College to see a photograph and some information about it. Same thing, we can go as we read the letter if there's something that we want more information on. For example, my very dear student, we can open that and we get a photograph of Ellen Brown Linskett, the student that she was writing to, and a little bit of information about her. We've been able to match this letter with the date of the sermon to know that they're related, and you can see she references it in this paragraph here. The hall was filled. We know that then was Hawthorne Hall. And if it was filled, and she says that standing room was taken and about 50 had to go away, so we know that more than 300 people were trying to see this particular service on this Sunday. We hope that gives you just enough information to get you going and start to search the documents on your own. We really welcome your comments, your questions. Please just go to the bottom of each page and you can click here to send comments or suggestions. We really hope that you enjoy the site and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.